Welcome to the Cape Information Technology IA walkthrough done by me, Mr. Charles. This video in somehow, some way is going to help you with your journey through your Cape Information Technology IA, either Unit 1 or Unit 2. Just to let you know, the sources of all the information that are inside this video will source from 1, the official syllabus, which you will see a link in the description for, 2, the examiner's reports for the old syllabus because that has a treasure trove of information about how they mark the IAs, and three, 10 plus years of experience teaching Cape Information Technology and submitting IAs every single year. So, first of all, enjoy. I hope the information helps you. And second of all, I am not your teacher. This is a guide. And because it's a guide, I will give some best practices that I would have seen in the different sources and things that I would have done myself. But if your teacher requires you to do something different, please listen to your teacher, but also read the syllabus and read the examiner's reports. And I hope that you do well in your Cape ITI. Okay, welcome to the home stretch of the Cape Information Technology Unit 1 IA. And we are on the second to last part, which is the shortest part of the whole IA, which is with two marks. And I can't understand why, but according to the syllabus, it's two marks for the selection of the solution. So let's just get these two marks and say thank you and then move on to the hardest part of the IA, which is, well, the hardest marked part of the IA, which is the justification, right? So selection of solution is on the heels of us doing the evaluation table, we came up with all the information, we came up with the weight, we decided we're going to select solution one because of the numbers. So selection of the solution is you saying, <coughs> based on the evidence, um, seen in the evaluation of the solution and the weights and the score gained, by solution one, it is, I don't know, the solution that will be chosen to solve the problem of information, solve, solve the informational problem, problem in the cafeteria. is solution one and that is me padding it that is me trying to make it sound sound more like important than it is how this is two marks i don't know i'm almost confident that they are using this evaluation table here and the selection of solution part to give you the two marks with so they just tell you select the appropriate solution based on your analysis so you just had to choose the one that had the most points and I don't know what else to put. I've never seen the examiner's report say anything that, that is cool about this or, or anything about this. Everybody just says the, the student um, selects an option that, is, that makes sense. So then move on to the justification and the solution. This one here is where the rubber meets the road. In the justification and the solution, you are going to have to try to... Um, yeah, well, I'll put any comments before, right? This is where you argue for the reasoning. I'm not sure if that's grammatically correct, but this is where you argue for the reasoning of your choice. You should look at the evaluation table and find all the arguments arguments against choosing this solution and come up with a reason or strategy oh, no yeah come up with a reason why you choose it or a strategy to mitigate the issue that may come up. No, mitigate right here. Yeah. What you're really trying to do with this um 
this just to be a solution is you're trying to tell the person who is reading this a I know what I am doing the reason I know what I am doing is because I have considered all of the possible issues that could take place and because I've considered all the possible issues that could take place I am in a good place to tell you why we should use this so think of it as when you're arguing with your parents about why you should go out and you know that you have to come up with your battle plan to tell them, okay. They will say this. And once they say this, I'll respond to that. They will say this. Once they say that, I'll respond to that. They'll say, did you do this? And yeah, did you do your work? Did you clean up your room? All that kind of thing. And you'll respond based on how they um how they tell you. So let's let's go up to the table. Let me show you what, 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 what I mean. User access to information. Of course, solution 1 got 25 out of 69. Good. Let's go with implementation costs. The implementation cost for the solution 2 gets a higher score, a better score, because it will obviously cost less than solution 1. But you did, you chose solution 1. So now you have to justify why this thing got a 7, but you still chose it. Do you understand? Look at this. Maintenance cost. Maintenance cost gets a 9 here. That means it's better to maintain solution 2 than solution 1. But why did you still choose it? Hmm, maybe. Then there is staff adoption. Staff adoption shows that solution 2 will be easier to be adopted by the staff, but you, you gave solution 1 or 2, but it still got chosen. Therefore, you're going to have to justify why this is necessary or why it still needs to be chosen. And then now, you might have to go a little further and talk about some of the other things that you may have um, considered when it comes to the comparison table and the evaluation and some of the implications that came out like environmental stuff all those different things you want to consider that because your solution remember to you all everybody's table is going to be different so your table may have things that are um that your table may have things that need to be discussed or your um, comparison may have things that need to be discussed so now you're going to justify it so i'll give you all a few sample paragraphs of how to justify right usually one of the easiest things to justify is cost so you want to say something like, even though the cost um, of implementing solution one is we is um, a lot higher than solution two, there are definite long-term um, gains that must be considered the um long term of uh, the long term gain of solution one is that they will have a website that is functional and aside from putting up no that's functional and it will solve the problem as the current problem Solution two relies on a system that is not very upgradable. And if things were to change in the future, they may have to implement a whole new system which would come at a cost. Solution one, however, is already in a state where it can be upgraded because it is a website and thus it should thus the cost should be seen as a long term investment. That paragraph there literally would kill it it would literally tell them okay i understand that you think solution one is more expensive imagine you're going and pitch this to the, to the cafeteria and they tell you no we don't have plenty of money we don't have to spend that kind of money to do this how about if we do this how about if we do that and then you have to tell them well if you do that this will happen you know but if you do this this will happen so we have to kind of think along the lines of hmm what do i really want to do here in order to Think about the future. So think about the future and put your paragraphs like that. So I'll give you a next paragraph for 
Um, let's see, staff adoption, right? Staff adoption. In the evaluation table, staff adoption was better in solution two. However, it may not be as much uh, of a problem as um, as projected for solution one since for solution one since there is the opportunity for training the staff can be convinced that in these modern times having the skills to update a website would be a very good um, characteristic to take into the future thus simple training programs can be implemented and the staff take the courses take take the online courses needed to grasp the concepts of updating the website with the appropriate content and though it may right appropriate content though it may take some time for for them to learn there would be a greater gain in having more technologically competent staff and technologically competent staff that can even go further in web development that can many that me that me in turn benefit the future operations of the cafeteria all right so you see how i kind of spin it uh, i kind of explain it to be like okay they may not be technological literate but however if you train them and they get better it could be better in the long run because they may come up with ideas or some kind of thing like that because you're trying to show that your solution even though there are some downfalls long term is going to be better because 90 percent of the time a technological solution is not a stopgap not a short-term plan that's why technology things are planned for long because you want to put something in place that will be able to be scalable, expandable, dependable. Those sort of things, you have to think about, okay, when you think about information systems, you have to make sure that you know what they are trying to do and how they're trying to do it. So scalability, expandability, usability, cost effectiveness, those are the things that should be running through your mind when you're going through your justification and you want to write paragraphs like these. Now, ideally, you should get, um, it's four marks, right? So I usually, me, I usually ask students to get four, um, four paragraphs. And if they could get those four paragraphs, I'd be like, yes, that's good, right? So usually in the table here, um, they would have three to four things that they could talk about, which will be clearly lower than another solution. But because it's clearly lower than in the other solution, it's an easy pick to say, okay, let me justify that. Or justify that but sometimes the table won't have everything that's lower so you might have to fish a little bit and go back up to this table here which would be like some sort of factor like user issues or training or cost or software or some kind of thing like that and you'll be able to get some justifications in so if you could get to four paragraphs you're good but sometimes three paragraphs with a, with a very robust justification will, will look good also so you want to you want to make sure that you, you, you don't just consider the fact that, okay, this one is better, so I'm justifying to tell you it's better because it's better. No. Show that you have a deep understanding of what the other solution brings to the table, but even though that other solution brings that to the table, you will be able to show that there is some sort of 
greater gain that this company is going to get or place or whatever it's going to get by implementing your solution whether it be a website or a database once you can get them four paragraphs or three to four paragraphs done for the justification you are finished and your teacher now will be able to give you all the guidance that you need to get you through there so we just finish off the um, selection of the solution and the justification of the solution so what we have to do next is now we have to go to format any document and making sure that we have all the things that are necessary to get the formatting marks and then you're handing this up and should be in a good place should be in a good place so see you in the next video where we go to the um formatting of the document and making sure that we get the formatting marks thanks for watching the video i hope it helped you a lot remember there are multiple videos that go through each different part of the IA in details so if you want a particular part that you're looking for you can check the playlist the playlist link will be in the bottom here if you use any app you can check in the app and you will see the playlist for it also to show you all the parts that are necessary if you're looking for quality information technology and computer science classes at the cape level you can check us out make it simple tt at 1-868-308-8799 or you can check us online at make it simple tt.com for slash register and use all of our free resources but if you're looking for a class that has recordings and extra explanations for every single thing that you need to do in the whole syllabus, you can check us out.